Hey, it's Sam, and I'm making this recording um, about something qu quite interesting right now, and it has to do with Mars in the sky, Mars by aspect in particular. Now, one of the fundamental uh, principles that I teach have to do with planets um, aspecting by transit. It's really important. You know, you see people go crazy about Dasha cycles, which are very important in Vedic astrology, of course. They're the overall karmic cycles, the karmas that are unfolding. But when you're looking at moments that make things happen, you absolutely must also look at the planets by transit, not only what they're joined, but what they're aspecting. Planets aspecting by transit are really important. And right now, we have Mars. Aspects by transit are very noticeable because they're moving up on two positions. You see Mars right now is 4 degrees, 30 seconds of Leo. Saturn is at 616 of Scorpio, and K2 is at 656 of Pisces. Now, this is being recorded on September 22nd, Tuesday. Mars aspects the 4th house, the 7th house, and the 8th house in front of him. So Mars is moving up to a direct aspect onto Saturn and to K2. And if, if we move the transits forward, we can see, because Mars is the faster-moving planet, he's applying to the slower-moving ones. This is called an applying aspect. It's very important. And this um, applying aspect means that the one that's moving slower is moving up to, to the... I'm sorry, the one that moves faster is moving up to the slower-moving one. And so that is what we're looking at right now. So the next couple of days are quite dangerous um, for um, sort of explosive events. And um, as you see, when I, when I move this forward, on Wednesday, Mars is 511, Saturn is 620, K2 is 655, and the moon is also moving. And the moon is applying to Mars, again, because moon is faster, Mars is slower, Mars is faster, Saturn and K2 are slower. So that's Wednesday. This is Thursday. You see Mars 549, Saturn 625. And then on the 25th, this is Friday, it gets very close. 626, 630, 656. So on Friday this week, and also the moon passes Mars. So I've seen these things get... Um, in particular, when they're about a one, one and a half to two degrees before the applying aspect perfects, that's when you see the most activity. So particularly on Thursday and Friday, um, I mean Wednesday also, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week, we could see some kind of um, you know explosive event uh, uh, for sure example of an explosive event. This is the Aurora shooting that happened a few years ago when the man burst into the Aurora movie theater and shot up the place. You see in this chart, Mars is aspecting 15 degrees of Aries. His eighth house aspect is particularly um, virulent. And the ascendant at that time was moving right up to the exact eighth house aspect. The ascendant is also important. The ascendant is what makes triggers happen, or that's what triggers things, because it's the exact moment. So at the exact moment that he started shooting up the place, the ascendant was Aries at about 10 degrees, and Mars was aspecting Aries at 15 degrees. So again, you see this aspect by transit, Mars aspecting the exact ascendant once the shooting started. Another example of the exact same thing, this was Ferguson, um, Missouri, when they made the announcement um, of the cops not getting um, convicted. Look at Mars and his eighth house aspect, exact, onto Jupiter. And look at the ascendant, it had just become uh, Cancer, Mars exact um, aspecting Jupiter. And again, you can see the event as well, because Mars, of, of course, Mars is about the violence and the anger, and Jupiter's about justice, angry over justice. It's very specific. This is just the event chart. And this is the chart of the tsunami quake in uh, Japan, in uh, Fukushima. You see um, Mars 1918, 
Saturn 21. So again, this Mars Saturn, especially the eighth house Mars Saturn aspect is also big. And this is the um, 2004 quake in Indonesia. You see Mars 618 and the moon 358. And again, this is the moon applying to the eighth house Mars aspect. Mars is aspecting Gemini at six degrees and the moon is moving and applying to the eighth house aspect. The moon was going from Rigashira into Ardra. Mars was aspecting again the eighth house there. So all of these examples of Mars, again here's the Fukushima again, Mars 19, Saturn 21. Here is the um here is where we um here is oh yeah this is the Ferguson announcement Mars 28, Jupiter 28. Again exact eighth house aspect. This is the Aurora shooting, Mars 8th house aspect, 8th house of Aries, and the Ascendant applying to the aspect. Very important. And then this is where we are. This is September 25th with Mars. By the time we hit the 25th, Mars is aspecting the 4th house of um, where Saturn is. The Moon will be applying to the Mars aspect. And Mars is also aspecting K2 at 6 almost seven degrees of Pisces. So very, um, you know, powerful um, time here of Mars aspects. And as I've just shown you, several examples of Mars aspects being very important in and of themselves um, in the chart of events, especially events where things kind of blow up.